Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm pretty much sure you're excited to know how I have done this login with QR code using Laravel and QR code JS. Well, be without any further ado, you, <laughs> without any further ado, let's get started. So it's pretty simple. Uh, first, we have our laptop. So first, we need to log in somewhere on our laptop or on or on any device which is not a mobile device. So we need to log in over there. Then we have our mobile phone from which we are going to scan the QR code, and then we have our server. So what's happening is laptop first log when we log in using login details to the uh, from our laptop or from our desktop web app we get a token is stored in the server so this token is nothing but the mobile token okay this is useful for login after this we get a response which is nothing but the user id the name of the user which is the logged in user and the mobile token okay once we have this we store this three inside the cookies on our desktop or on our laptop web app okay once that's done we code with user id name mobile token and then the phone scan this qr code after scanning it sends those details only the user id and mobile token to the server the server logs in using the user id and checks the token so as we have stored the token for each user in our database so the server checks whatever token it has received is it a valid token or not and laravel has an amazing feature of logging or authenticating the user using its user id provided you know the user id that's why we are taking the user id over here in this section okay so then if everything works well great the user is logged in from his mobile phone so to begin with we will need a qr code library so i am using qr code.js by david and this is pretty straightforward library but obviously you can use any library you like and also you can render the qr code either at server side and push it as an image to the uh, client side or you can have it rendered on the client side using javascript so all we need is uh, just this the basic examples elaborate everything and that's what we need so i'll just go get back into my code again so here uh, on our dashboard page what's happening mm -hmm. is a qr code class uh, creates um, sorry a qr code object is required to use the make code function which is nothing but this qr code it's coming from this script so when you download the zip file from qr code.js you will get a zip folder and from in the inside that zip folder you will find qr code.min.js file just copy that into your um, public folder public slash js folder in your laravel of your laravel project and you're good to go so once that's done um, here we just use make code function in the make code function we need to pass the data that we want to have for the qr code so whenever someone scans the QR code, as you know, it can, it, the person is either redirected to a URL or the data is used by the application to process further, okay? Depending on what how you scan it, are you scanning through app or not, depending on that. So as here we are scanning through just the mobile phone, we will need a URL and we will be passing the query parameters in that URL, okay? This only works on desktop or laptop devices, the QR code generation. But on the other or the mobile devices, what we need is it's just if there is the, if the user is authenticated, we just have to display the name. Okay. Cool. So uh, let's proceed to the login. Inside the login, uh, in here, all I need is to just just use this uh, user. As you can see, like we have the mobile token column in our users table. This is essential. Uh, for for me actually this is essential to authenticate the user securely and uh, in a proper way so let's take that use the password so before I jump in over here there is just one cookie 
uh, sorry there are no cookies and what we're going to do as i explained in the diagram we are we are going to store the name and the mobile token in the cookie so once if the login is successful you will see the message over here good once the logged in once we are logged in successfully we can just check in the cookies so here as you can see we have cookies of mobile token and the user details which is nothing but the id and the uh, name of the user this is required the id is the, mo the essential part okay so these two we are getting it from the server uh, xsrf token and laravel session is nothing but the laravel cookies so to know more about this this video is nothing but the extension of my previous series of how uh, i did a, a javascript and uh, laravel web app for login and registration so in there i have used sanctum here also i'm using sanctum so those two cookies are from sanctum which are stored in the in your browser so once that's done if i just navigate to dashboard over here so you can see i will have a qr code okay with the user logged in so now from my phone all i have to do is just scan this qr code so as you can see we are logged in in our dashboard using our mobile phone and the qr code on our desktop app sorry our laptop web app so the if i just use it in the chrome dev mode and if i just give a quick refresh over here you will see the screens are pretty much the same so here we have nesim pacheco here also we have nesim pacheco okay so that's the basic idea of logging the user using qr code okay so getting back to our server side so in on the server side over here once someone scans the qr code and sends the query parameters in the url we already have the encrypted id which will decrypt it for validation and then we have the uuid so uuid is nothing but in under the helpers of laravel you will find it in laravel.talk sorry laravel.com slash talks and the version of laravel and helpers there you will find it um in strings under strings you will find something known as uuid so this uuid is nothing but it creates a unique id in a kebab case form okay it's nothing but the combination of characters and numbers okay so once that's done we will be validating this after successful validation we will we are gonna log in the user using id okay using the user id so laravel has amazing feature of logging the user using its uh use it's using its id okay so in authentication of laravel.com docs you'll find under manual authenticating the users you'll find it over here that there is a feature uh, over here yeah authenticate a user by id so you need to know the id of the user for login log in in to make it login <laughs> using its id okay so once that's done we will use our auth user uh, and we will just check the mobile token of it which is nothing but the column this one mobile token value of the authenticated user if that value matches with our requested uh, with our token which is we are passing in the request then we will authenticate the user sorry uh, yeah we will authenticate the user over here so if i just yeah so over here we will authenticate the user that everything is good and then we will redirect the user to the dashboard we will set the cookie because this cookie is required on our dashboard.php we are using cookies on dashboard.php to fetch the name and the id of the user so we are setting it through our php uh, so through our laravel server side this sets in for only those requests which for are requested so it won't set it for everyone so you can use set cookie for function of php uh, for specific user as well cool so if the token is not matched we will just throw the error that okay token mismatch and then mm, that's it we won't proceed further so that's how the qr code login works if you like this video don't forget to like my video <laughs> don't forget to thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and also 
comment your opinion of how you have done this differently or how you could have done this differently till then goodbye